Okay, so let's see what we can do to turn our sample graphic into an emoji. The first thing I want to do is not mess up my sample graphic. So I'm going to do a save as, and I'm going to change this to today's date, and I'm going to put emoji1. Now I can make all sorts of changes to this experiment, and I'm not messing up the file that I need to turn in for a grade this week. So I'm getting rid of those four lines to start with. This layer X, I don't actually need it, so I could have just thrown it away in the trash, and that would have also gotten rid of those four things. So this emoji face is not really taking up as much of my canvas as I would like. So I'm going to bring it up in size, so I make the largest size that I can. Sometimes if I'm trying to recenter that, I move it off to the side, and then it, I can e more easily use those pink lines to get it right back in the center. Now this is going to be my eyeball, and I don't want it to be quite that big, so I'm going to shift click on all of those. Now they're all selected, and I can bring that size down and move it into an eyeball type position. So green, blue, and pupil are all over there in one side. Now eyes aren't generally round, so I'm going to show you something that I consider pretty cool. Now the lines on here are a little bit thick. So I'm going to do that and bring the stroke down to a 2 for both of the eyeballs. And now I'm going to choose this outer green one. We've been using the selection tool to move things, but there's something called the direct select tool that allows me to grab these anchor points on a circle. There's generally four of them. If you click once and then click and drag, you can actually change any shape that you've got made there. So I'm going to go back to my direct select tool and maybe move the rest of the eyeball over a little bit so it looks a little more natural. Positions of the eyes can give you a lot of expression and it looks like we've got our first eye. Now let me scale down the outer part a little bit, looks a little bit large, and position it in a way that is going to work for being an eyeball. Let me shift click on all of those. I'm going to bring that over a little bit. And now I don't really want to work with them individually quite as much. So I'd like to group them and call them an eye, my left eye. So I'm going to go over here to Object and group those four things together. Now it chose the pupil layer to put them on, so I'm going to rename this left eye. And you notice that blue and green are now empty. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those even get rid of this layer right here. So now I have my yellow face and one eyeball. Now, one-eyed emojis may have their use, but I would like to have two of them. Before I do that, I think a green around the iris and pupil does look a little funny. So I'm going to change this to look more like the whites of the eyes. So how do I do that once it's all been selected uh, and grouped? Well, if you double click on something, it will go into isolation mode, and it will show you only the thing that you double clicked on. Now, if you do it again, it will show you only the thing that you double clicked on. So I can work on this whites of the eye um, right now. So let me go over here to the fill, and I'm going to change the gradient on that by going up here to my gradient tool. Now it's been selected, and now I can change the colors that are in here. So I can double click on the green and choose white. And then go over here, you got kind of this dark green here. I should make that a gray. I'm going to double click on it and look at my swatches that are pre-made here and maybe try some different grays to see because that's going to make it look a little more realistic. Now I could have some extra gradients in there if I wanted to. I could move this line a little bit so there's more gray or less gray. I could change where it's located. So right about there. So let me hit escape and escape again. Now I am out of the isolation mode and I have something that looks a little more like an eyeball. Not great. There's some things that can be done to fix that up, but let's make another eye. So I'm going to control C, copy, make a new layer, call it the right eye, and paste that copy in there with control V. Now naturally that looks a little funny because we changed the shape to be a little more realistic. So I'm going to choose that right eye with an alt click on it, 
oops, that's control click, alt click. I'm simply going to use my rotation tool. Now we don't want just any old angle here. We really want 180 degrees. So holding down the shift button locks it into 45 degree changes. So I'm looking for 180 and now my eye has been flipped around. So now I've got a left eye and a right eye and I can move them around and try and get like what does my emoji look like? Does it have eyes that are far apart? Does it have eyes that are really close together? Is he a cross-eyed? You can make all sorts of adjustments. So that is uh, using some grouping and duplicating to get the start to our emoji.